Yep, that's right. You see it. This is a hamburger. You would figure that the United States would be the first to uh, have an actual hamburger, but our Canadian brothers and sisters, I think this is the first. Let's uh, open this up and check it out. It's just a simple paper bag. It just has that, which means it's a 2014 uh, version, menu number 7. It just has that little writing on the back. Nothing else. Yep. All right. Same foil innards. All right, some vanilla cappuccino mix. Ah, ketchup. You can see this is a legit peanut butter. Seems like that is a standard fare. A hamburger bun. Yay! Have in here. Of course, the hot beverage bag or beverage bag. Coffee. Reese's Pieces. Fruit punch drink. Two of those. Some uh, whitener or creamer. Two, uh, I th it says two pieces, but I think I've got three pieces in here. Pretty cool. And uh, xylitol, xylitol gum, which means it's dental gum. Oh, cool. Some red hot sauce, sugar, and a uh, pack of matches. We'll have a few other things in here. Let's get the durable napkin with a long handled spoon. Awesome oh, mustard, that's pretty cool. And what is our side? A bean salad? Hmm. That, of course, the hamburger. I'm not seeing the dental stimulator. I didn't see the toothpick. So, yep, yeah, oh, there's Sherman. And lastly, a wet nap. Let's get this constructed. Okay, let's make the drinks. This fruit punch calls for 250 ml or about 8 ounces of water. Tropical punch smell. That is a bright, vivid red. And we'll give this a stir. And I figure if I got this or coffee, I'll just make this be fancy today. Have some vanilla cappuccino. Now the one thing, <laughs> it didn't say how much uh, water to use. Man, this is dumping out very, very slow. Yeah, you can see on the back, I couldn't really see anything that told me how much water, so I'm just going to fill up a mug. Probably only requires like four ounces, four to six ounces, but yeah, and we'll give this a stir. Okay, now looking at these real quick, I'm looking at this hamburger and it says uh, the burger is 
beef. And you see it in there. It says bacon. Mm. And then this uh, bean salad is to be eaten chilled. It's just uh, balsamic vinegar, red beans, chick beans, white beans, and a little bit of red, red bell pepper and some, uh, you know, onions, stuff like that. Now, when I was talking to a gentleman, he said that this is definitely better if you warm up both the bun and the burger. And that's what I'm going to do. And while I'm on camera, let me just see. This is Baxter's. This is Warnick. All right. Baxter's produces this. Let me check this out to see if Baxter's produces this this as well and they do outstanding now somebody was asking me about the date codes the difference between u.s date codes and canadian date codes i think this is a superior date code it's a five digit which means that 13 are the last two digits of the year so 2013 and then of course the julian date 331, 331st day. That means you'll never see 13 again until next century. It's so much easier because the U.S. date codes it just will have a 3 and it could be mystery what decade it's from. So that is the difference of the date codes. 5 digit as opposed to the 4 digit. Alright, got this. This is nice and heated up. It's not too hot because I want to be able to touch it. And the tip I got was just throw this right into the water. This is like a plastic bag, so it's uh, easy to toss it in. And this is, it's not super hot, but it is warm and it's nice and pliable. So there's our hamburger bun. And this bread, the way how it feels, reminds me a lot of the shelf-stable MRE bread that we used to get when I was in. Now the burger. It smells pretty good. Now, yeah, this has uh, some liquid in it. And I'm going to try to not get all that liquid juice on there as of yet. We're going to see if it adds a dimension to it. And what happened to all my stuff? And we have a packet of ketchup and mustard. Put a little bit on here. Come on. On that side. I touched that thing over there. My hands aren't dry anymore. Put a little on that side. And we're not going to need that. And I can get rid of these. What else do we have here? We've got the got that bean salad. Yeah, well, as soon as I grabbed this patty, now I've got that residue all on my fingers. Come on out. Wow, that looks good. That is a nice uh, amount, too. Come on. Somebody was talking about, uh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I won't bring up that topic. 
hang out of this hot sauce for a second. What else do we have here? We have some Reese's Pieces. I almost think what would have been perfect for this is like to have some like potato sticks or something like that. Something shelf stable that would uh, act kind of like a french fry or a potato. That would have been nice. Have some peanut butter. And again, we've got that gum. Now it says it's two pieces, but I think we might have got away and got a third. Now you hear it. Two pieces. Ha ha. So three pieces of gum. And not going to have the tea, not going to have the coffee. We've got the fruit punch, and we've got that vanilla cappuccino. Plop that over there. Okay, the moment of truth before this bun cools down enough. MRE hamburger, or IMP hamburger. The patty is very soft, almost like the same consistency of a Salisbury steak, if you've had one of those. And you can see its process is just kind of mashed together into its own little patty. The bread is a little dense. Uh, I think if I would have had it as soon as it came out of the heat, uh, it would have still had that nice kind of soft sponginess to it. But now it's pretty much kind of hardened back. To its original state. Now we'll look at this uh, bean salad. See it's got kidney beans, white beans, it's got some corn, see a little bit of bell pepper in here, and it's just got some onions and some other spices. Mmm, I like that. You get that hint of that vinegar from the balsamic vinegar. I wonder how this would react with it. Would give it just a little bit of heat and wake it up with just a little bit of kick. We'll try that. I think that's going to be good. And I don't, I don't mix mine around because I like that heat to be right on the top, right where my flavor enhancing. There are the pops. It's not really tangy. It doesn't give you an overwhelming amount of heat. But your taste buds definitely notice that little bit of a spiciness. It's very mild though. And of course the Reese's Pieces. Just a candy coated peanut butter essentially always a fan of that and see now you got that nice peanut buttery taste in your mouth I'm gonna try this uh, vanilla cappuccino yeah those definitely go together now of course the peanut butter you're like what would you put peanut butter on well a lot of guys just hang on to this and when they need a, an influx of uh, energy, protein, carbohydrates, they just keep these in their pocket and they just uh, take a pull off these from time to time. Now the gum, I'll do the gum right at the end because I'm going to take another bite out of this. Out of this burger. There's the dryer. Nice. This time we'll, we'll go over to the mustard side. Hmm. Mustard is a good yellow mustard. It's nice and tangy. Yeah, I like this. 
All right, now this bread does get dry. That's not as much of a surprise. Let's try some of this juice, I guess you would call it, and see if we can add this to this bun to make it a little softer, a little more pleasing to the palate. Give that a try. While it makes a mess, it does take care of that denseness because this bread or this bun just absorbs all of this liquid. It is slightly greasy, so if you do that, you're going to have to expect that. I'll try just a little bit of this with the beans. That's just fine on its own. It doesn't really need any of that. Let's try the fruit punch. Looks like it's constituted nicely. You can see the bottom of the glass. It's pretty concentrated. If you didn't want that really sharp fruit punch flavor, you could stretch it from 250 mil to, to 350 or 400, whatever, whatever you wanted as long as it would fit in your glass. Well, lastly, let's try our gum. Looks like it is a spearmint. Is that what it says? It just says it is a frost icebreaker. It's not gum at all. Hmm. I wonder how that would help clean your mouth to keep your teeth in good order. Well, everybody, this was a review of a 2014 IMP menu number seven hamburger. Pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed it. I know I did. Thanks a lot, Black Dog Bob, for sending this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.